Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 11 of Gigi Harum. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Shit, no, start over. <laughs> Take two in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. Yay! <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, a pretty cure movie. <laughs> you got the wrong person to answer on the phone, though. <laughs> oh, God. Mm-hmm. Peaceful. I might as well take her. Two for one, right? <laughs> I put so much in here and you're just trying to get this strong. This is too much. I'm about to just rip the thing open. <laughs> but damn, that was really good strawberry lemonade. Do not mind me. <gasps> oh, congrats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? No.
That's ice. Oh, fuck it. I'm eating out of school. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Not her as a nut.
with them shopping like this, they just look like a married couple. Not fighting the allegations or anything. We just going with it. How much? <laughs> Just because. Mm -mm. Right? We don't need you to get sick. Not anymore. Oh, is she changing and he's putting out there? That's such a gentleman! Oh my god! Please, we don't need you to be stopped by cops. That's a good boyfriend. A damn good boyfriend. <laughs> oh, an aquarium sounds fun. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. It'd be all right. gives me the Agaragi vibes that I like, which is sweet. Like, oh my god, I can't with these two. <laughs> it's too much. I can't believe that this is ending next week. Aww. That is hella sweet. <laughs> Hella sweet boyfriend. No. <laughs> Oh. And funny enough, he did because he really did a concert for this show and she sang. Ah! Now? This is why I will never take an Uber. Hello. Okay. You do, and he doesn't. That, mm.
Guten Tag. <laughs> I think next episode will be a good episode, especially if it is the last episode and such. But their date was super adorable. It would have been even cuter if Aya had gone with them, but I get it. You know, you just mm -hmm. A and B, see your way out and such. I get that. These two have to have a moment, but we could have had... We, well, in the end, you did give us one more moment with her, and that's a good thing. But if next week is the final episode, I would love to see at least one more moment with her. Because she's precious. She acts like their kid, even though Aya is related to Ren. But it's still cute, though. Like, they act like the cutest parents towards her, and it's just like, now you just think about the future... When they are older and they have kids, like, it, it makes you wonder who's going to be the sweet, nurturing parent, and then who, who's going to be the good cop and bad cop, basically. Who's going to be the good one and who's going to be the bad one? Like, I can see... <laughs> I can see Rin kind of being the bad cop. Like, there are going to be things that she's definitely not going to tolerate for, so I get it, because typically most majority moms are the bad cop. And the dads can be the good cop, but son does. sometimes it can be a switch. Because, okay, for an example, if we want to talk about my parents, um, I, I've said this so many times. <laughs> it's so freaking hilarious. Um, you would, hold on, let me see what's at the end of this. I do too. I do that shit. I don't... Mm. <laughs> do you really, AJ? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, continuing on. I don't, like me, yeah, I do normally sleep until noon, especially if it is my day off. Sometimes I will sleep a little bit later. Um, because, okay, here, here's my thing. So, like, for an example, I'm off until tomorrow because I go back to work tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, Tuesday, I was up until, like, not, not like we, when I think, when I say we average in the morning, I'm like, that's about, like, three, four, five o'clock. Sometimes, like, when it starts to get light outside. Sometimes I can do that, depending on my mood. Um, and especially if I can't sleep. But um, I think I was up until like a good 1, 2 o'clock. Then I went back to sleep. Or I went to sleep. Cody and I slept until... 1? No, actually no. I got up really early last night. I just didn't get up until one and that and the sun, it's 12 one o'clock that's my thing because I don't always want to get up in there in the middle of the morning uh, I'm more of an afternoon type of gal today kind of the same thing um because I was supposed to record after like I, I had recorded one episode then I was watching the VMAs then I fell asleep woke up at like three different not even three five different times throughout the night I woke up at like two then I woke up at six five going on six then I woke up at eight I was like what the freak <laughs> and and it's mainly because my body is so used to waking up at like weird times of the night and such um but no like seriously hopefully next week we get one more episode but yeah yeah definitely AG would be um the good guy but like I said speaking of my parents you when you look at my parents especially when I was a kid um Everybody always thought that my mom was the nice one and my dad was sort of like the hands-on. I was like, no, it's completely different. I was like, my dad, depending on the situation, my dad is a complete and total teddy bear. I was like, my mom is the one that you have to watch out for. Um, so especially when I got my first boyfriend, um, I was like, you're, um, I told him, I was like, you probably will never meet my dad. Um... If, I, if he ever is in town, that's the thing. If he's ever in town and you're here in town here, then yeah, you'll definitely meet him. But you'll definitely have, like, a better relationship with my mom than my dad and such. I was like, you see that woman over there? And he's like, yeah. I was like, 
<laughs> you think she's the sweetest? <laughs> no. It depends. As like you just gotta stay on her good side. Don't stay on her bad side. Because once you're on your bad her bad side, oh no, no, no. That's a place you don't wanna be. <laughs> and such. And I still say that till now. But my mom is the sweetest person ish. Like majority of you guys have seen like in the streams that I've done in the past or videos where like she's come in and comfort me when I'm crying and stuff. I, I know some of y'all eat that up for some weird reason. I do not know why. I, I love that you guys are literally you love her just as much as you love me. And so I really have to say thank you for that because I didn't think number one, nobody would like me and such. But also like my mom like super sweet. So when she does have the time to come on and say hi to you guys when I'm like streaming or doing whatever, I do love the fact that you guys are like, Oh my god <laughs> it's Mom and Dina, <laughs> which is just so freaking adorable and such. <laughs> but no, this was a cute little episode. But if next week is the last episode, I'm, I'm sad, very, very sad, because I don't want this to end. Like, I love this show so freaking much. I'm ready for, like, 20 more episodes, but of course you can't give me that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 11 of Gigi Haram. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for possibly the finale. Maybe. I don't know. Or just plain old episode 12. Um, Next Thursday, I should be coming home. I don't know. I have to check my schedule again. So if you don't get it next Thursday before the night or the day is over, you'll get it um, Friday morning or at least Friday afternoon before I go to bed Friday night. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.